Very good, see? Now your deck looks way better and you can shuffle better too. You always make me sleep my decks and I just want to go to the card shop. Can you teleport me there now? Yeah, sure. Just don't stand over there because if you're in a sitting position and I can't find a chair, you're going to fall on your ass. Oh, I'm so excited. I haven't been to the card shop in a minute. I hope there's good players there. What? Take your cards out of your pocket. Now put them in this. Eh, I don't like that one. Okay, then here, take this yellow one. No! T um, a pink one? That's a girl color. Well, I've got red, white, blue, orange, yellow, pink, black. Shit, I've got brown. Of <laughs> Shit, I've got brown. <laughs> no, thank you. My cards fit in my pocket just fine. You got dice? Yes, sir. Your phone? Yep. And it's got a dual calculator on it. I don't see a map. We did this the last time I went to the card shop. Of course. You know what? We did. So, uh, what else do you take with you? Let's see. A spare match. A spare deck. Deck box! That, that, that was a deck box. Another spare match. In case somebody needs one. Another set of dice in case somebody needs dice. Oh, that's... Really nice. I also bring some sunglasses in case I need some. Understandable. Just don't wear them while you play because you might give away your hand to your opponent in the reflection. And then I gotta flash my bling blang. Less understandable. Ugh, and then I bring my trades, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, there's another one. Oh. One of, one of these thick ones. Ooh, I'm about to set this down. There's some in my left pocket here. Yeah, there they are. Yeah, and then the blue one. I think there's a purple. Yeah, there's the purple one. All right, almost done. And one. Ah, yeah. Whew. And last but not least. Yeah, I bring my own chair. So you actually could teleport me sitting down. <clears throat> yeah, let's let's do that. Have a good time. You know I will, son. Shit, you're always fooling. Is it just me or is he getting better? Okay, so LCD TV Duel was kind enough to send me this package months ago in order to be able to review and open for you guys. But of course, I was in the middle of moving and setting up this glorious card corner for you. Ugh, I love this new studio. But now that all of that has been completed, and now that I am back in business doing Yu-Gi-Oh! content, I decided to not only open this package and to review their product that they sent me, you know, a while ago. <laughs> Shout out to LDBBNB Duel for uh, providing me. <laughs> They're never going to send me product after this. They're going to be like, dude, you butchered our name you made fun of our name within the first five seconds of the video <laughs> LDB Duel, guys. Uh, shout out to them. They're the ones who sent me this deck box, and I not only wanted to uh, take this opportunity to show off what they have to offer, but also show off all of the other deck boxes that I have personally and talk about the differences between them for you and for anybody who's interested in getting into Yu-Gi-Oh! or card games in general for that matter, because deck boxes, card boxes, they hold cards of any kind. It doesn't have to be Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, but this is a Yu-Gi-Oh channel. So we're going to be reviewing and talking about different Yu-Gi-Oh deck boxes in the hopes of making you not necessarily a better Yu-Gi-Oh player, but a more organized one, let's put it that way, or just a more, yeah, a more prepared Yu-Gi-Oh player. So, let's open this up. Once again, I got this months ago, so shout out to LDB Duel again for being so patient with me. The guy was really cool who I talked to. I have not seen any of this product before. I really have not. He told me that he's got something else in the works though. He did tell me that and he told me that uh, pretty recently because I told him like, hey, I haven't forgot about you by the way, I've just been doing other shit. <laughs> and he was like, oh, you know, no, no problem. I actually have other stuff in the works so hopefully you'll like what I sent you already. But you know, with that intro I just gave, they're probably not gonna send me product ever again. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, oh, let's see what we got. Oh, he sent me two deck boxes. Two, not one, but two. LDB Duel, yeah, that's perfect. Use a little insert with all of his information. That is perfect. Their website is ldbduel.com. Looks like you can find them on Instagram, on YouTube, and then there is their email address right now. Hello, and thank you for taking the time to help launch the Mach 2 on your channel. My new model, the Mach 2, is made to offer a budget alternative to my Mach 1 deck box. The Mach 1 is the original handmade leather deck box that I've been selling for years. Over the years, I've received numerous requests for a more budget version. Here's some talking points that could be helpful as you review the product. Pre-orders are open. I don't need that. <laughs> I don't need that. I'm Yu-Gi-Oh! Jesus. I don't need that. Thank you for sending me this stuff. I will read this, though. Currently being launched in black, brown, blue, Blue, red, and yellow. The black box looks exactly like some versions of Yugi's deck box, while the brown is a replica of Yusei's deck box. Red, yellow, and blue represent the GX dorms. I do like that. I do like keeping it Yu-Gi-Oh. So far, so good. I really like the feel of this material already. Um, I don't want to dig out the other deck boxes. You know what? I will dig out one of the other deck boxes because to compare it to an Ultimate Guard, it is very similar material, very similar like leather-like material. That is awesome. No, that feels great. That's very sturdy. Um, I like that a lot. Um, it, it's, it, I don't know. There's something about um, having like a softer leather to be able to, I don't know, bounce off the freaking floor or whatever. I have carpet, so you, you know, hardwood would be more impressive. <laughs> For real though, there's just something that looks nicer about a softer exterior. It doesn't really matter what the material is necessarily. Um, it could be those deck boxes that Konami made, you know, uh, actually uh, for the last UDS that I was at. Uh, you'll probably see a card come up. But um, yeah, this I mean, there's something about these that just looks better, feels better on the hands. And not to mention, um, I mean, I feel like it keeps your cards to, like, I don't know, protected better maybe? I'm not sure though. But I will say that um, I like the logo. I like how you put the logo as uh, the D in Duel right there, an LDB Duel. I didn't know that you did that. I have seen your logo in our correspondence, but I didn't know that you had that as the D in Duel right there. That looks really good. But here, let's try these out. So I think that these open, yeah, they don't open that way. So it's gotta be this way only. Oh, but he's got a goodie in here for me. What? LDB Duel, hey, it's like a field center or like a, uh, yeah, like a proxy card or something like a uh, token. Mr. Chippo Ronin token, <laughs> Puff Master, what is this? About to go into battle, but rethinking seconds at lunch. Wish me luck. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, just free, uh, you know, field center slash token. Uh, I'm just feeling these out and like looking around, seeing what I like about these, seeing what I don't like. So I will say that this looks like, so I wonder if it's like that with both of these. So it's probably how he had to make them, but it looks uh, similar to... The inside of these looks similar to these uh, monster boxes where uh, the inserts come out. I will be going over that in a minute, but the inserts of these come out, but the uh, LDB dual deck boxes, they don't. They just look like they do. And once again, these are handmade, so it's probably how he had to make them. So uh, no judgment there. It looks really cool. I was just like kind of... Uh, um, you know, deceived for a second is all because um, I'm used to these, uh, you know, more, uh, I guess you can call name brand or uh, widely used deck boxes that you can find in like any card shop. That's that's all I was getting at there. I really like these though. I like these a lot. I like the logo. I like how the logo is on the back and discreet. Um, I just really like deck boxes. Um, not only to be able to, you know, keep my completed decks in, but it, just to be able to keep any kind of cards in, um, just to keep them separated, What you know, um, instead of having them in a tin where they could be forgotten about with all my other commons, you know, and all my other tins, right? Um, I actually have a lot of deck boxes that I keep on top of my shelf with my tins that have uh, certain archetypes and certain key cards, staple cards, and all kinds of other things separated in them. Um, and that really helps. So the more deck boxes, the better, guys. Um, I will say that these uh, these are way more pro looking. These um, are intended for way more than just keeping cards in. Um, these are intended for you to be taking at um, you know at events or at your locals and stuff. These are handmade deck boxes, and I could tell that they're handmade too because you could see that the cut on this is different than the cut on this. this these are not made by machines, guys. These are really cool. So yeah, these are um, yeah I. 
I mean, this is basically, I mean, long story short, this offers, these offer the same kind of protection as this right here. They're both magnetically sealed. So what I was saying though, is that these deck boxes are handmade and also provide the uh, same kind of protection as this, because I mean, if you look, I mean, the creases on this deck box, like here and here and stuff, aren't any bigger than like the crease right here, for example, or anything like, I mean, this kind of forms like a bigger crease, but it's deceiving because this has to fold over. So, um, yeah, like I, this is, this is good. I would say I feel comfortable spilling water on this or anything and it wouldn't really damage my cards. I mean, obviously don't throw these in water, <laughs> you know what I mean? And test it. These are not waterproof, but no, these are great. These are great. They offer the same level of protection as this, in my opinion, and are about the same size as an ultra pro deck box. So I like that a lot. Um, Speaking of which, let's go ahead and move on to the Ultra Pro deck boxes now to uh, give a full comparison. So Ultra Pro deck boxes, uh, you know, you've seen them at your local card shop. You've probably seen them maybe even at your local Walmart or some store. Um, they come in different colors. They are just plastic, uh, good old deck boxes. Like I was stating earlier, I keep different decks in them. I keep different cards in them that uh, can't really be organized elsewhere or that I keep, uh, I don't know, just in a spot where I don't forget. It's like, uh, I don't know, my evil swarm core. <laughs> I use deck boxes to keep things uh, organized that you might not necessarily want to keep in your trade binder. Uh, you know, stuff that you know that you're going to keep or once again, maybe some commons that you have just separated out. Yeah, evil swarm cards though. Uh, they need to rise again and they, they need to swarm again I missed that deck uh, but yeah um, these are you know regular old uh, ultra pro deck boxes and I will say that these deck boxes the LDB dual deck boxes or I guess you can call them LDB deck boxes or L deck box Anyways, the LDB, they're never going to be product again. The LDB deck boxes are slightly bigger. Um, I will say let's see if one of these can fit in here. Ooh. Ooh. Almost like a glove, one of these can actually fit in the LDB deck boxes. So, uh, quite a bit bigger, um, although around the same size, they're, they're not like this massive block like the Ultimate Guard uh, deck boxes. So, uh, yeah, uh, before I get to, I guess I've showed this enough, um, the Ultimate Guard deck boxes though. Um, this is the deck box that I use. Um, this isn't the most uh, fancy deck box in the world because now there's all these other deck boxes with art on them and have different magnetic clips and have different compartments and you know what I mean like everything keeps getting fancier and fancier and fancier and you know Jim makes all these backpacks that have all these compartments and they've sent me those before and stuff. Everything's getting fancier and uh, uh, more advanced you know <laughs> but uh, this one I use, um, this is my favorite deck box of all time. Uh, not just because it's Ultimate Guard, not just because I can fit. Oh, where is my deck? <laughs> my Cyber Dragons were still out from the deck profile. <laughs> but uh, not just because I can fit uh, two decks in here, uh, but because, um, you know, there's this middle compartment and stuff. But the main reason why, um, you know, similar, the main reason why that this is my favorite uh, deck box, uh, similar to uh, these cards right here. Um, why these, you know, same reason why these are some of my favorite cards that are in here is because they were all sent by fans. This was sent to me through fan mail. Um, so this has been my deck box that I use and it's gonna be my deck box that I use probably forever. <laughs> you know, I will use these. I will use these to store things. I will use these, you know, to put, um, you know, better decks in, you know what I mean? So I don't have to keep, you know, swapping things into this deck box. Uh, but this is my main deck box uh, just because, um, you know, it was sent to me by a fan and uh, I've used it ever since. I've become very uh, attached and sentimental towards um, this deck box. If you look, um, I even spilt something on this deck box before and I didn't even care because the deck box is that good. What I'm saying is um, I'm getting similar vibes from this deck box right here from both of these actually. I think that you could spill things on these and, and you wouldn't care. Um, very similar to a Ultra Pro deck box. They're all kind of designed like that, but um, there's just something about the feel and the softness of leather or just different soft materials that's better than, it's just better than plastic. I guess what I'm getting at is that I totally understand little subtle differences and preferences in various different products. Um, speaking of various different products, uh, let's keep moving on here. If you don't like the various colors that Ultra Pro deck boxes come in, you can of course uh, cover your deck boxes and whatever pictures you want. Uh, these were also uh, sent to me and modified by fans and I've kept them and I kind of keep things in them except this one's uh, empty. I don't know what to put in that one but you know then there's these other ones I've just had stuff in for years. Um, you know Evil Swarm deck and then uh, these were actually sent by fans too. These uh, dice cards and stuff like that or whatever. Similarly these monster protector deck boxes come in various colors as well and as I've already shown um, they are kind of like a uh, 
Ultra Pro deck boxes. They're like double Ultra Pro deck boxes in one deck box. Um, I also use these for uh, various different decks. This one uh, happens to be empty right now. Uh, this one's got some, you know, GOAT format stuff in it, including a Champion Pack Merchant. Oh yeah, I got some of them. <laughs> but I'm gonna give my honest opinion, guys. All of these deck boxes are exactly the same. <laughs> the, 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 the same picture, pan meme. <laughs> because uh, what, what do all of these really do? They let you carry your deck to an event and let you stay organized at that event or store. That's it. They, these allow you to stay organized and allow you to have a place to, you know, carry around your cards. So all of these are essentially the same. There's just minor differences between them. I really do like that this is handmade. I love supporting small businesses. Um, so please support LDB Duel, especially because they were really cool with me, really patient with me, and I expect them to be good sports about uh, me making fun of their name, <laughs> you know, during this review too. If I were to look at these through the normal Yu-Gi-Oh player's point of view, you know, or like what's more objective, right? The, the order of, be of worst deck box to best deck box would be worst, better, best, better than best, <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> just because, I mean, the, the bigger is better and this just has more compartments. That's nothing, Ultimate Guard's just a bigger brand and they've been around longer and it has nothing to do with this, this deck box lacking. It's just a flat out smaller deck box, but uh, just as protective and uh, has that soft, you know, good soft but sturdy feel to it. So um, it's pretty negligible, the different, you know, and once again, uh, what, like I said a second ago, um, if you think about the purpose of all these, the differences are pretty negligible. And going off of that, I want to note that you can keep, I don't care, you can keep your cards in a 10, uh, you know what I mean? Keep your Yu-Gi-Oh cards in a 10. I keep my commons in 10s, but uh, you know, keep your Yu-Gi-Oh cards in a 10 of any size. It really doesn't matter. I think keeping your cards in 10s is cool. I still keep a lot of my cards in 10s. But if you don't feel like buying a deck box or using a 10 as a deck box, um, you can use another piece of Yu-Gi-Oh product as a deck box, you know, one of these uh, boxes that they used to make that they still make sometimes. Uh, you can use, uh, you know, any one of these, like a Dual Devastator box or, you know, what have you. But you could also make your own deck box. That's right, you can make your own deck box. Uh, this was given to me by a friend years and years and years ago. But uh, you can, in fact, make your own Yu-Gi-Oh deck box. Would you look at that? I actually have a video on the channel um, explaining how to build this. Um, although I don't build this, you know, live on the channel, but I do like kind of show it off in a separate video more and investigate um, how he did this because I wasn't there when he built it. This was just given to me and I've had it ever since and I've just kind of kept it around and kept stuff in it ever since because it's a really cool deck box. And I'm actually just gonna add that here with the rest of the deck boxes because now I would say worse better than worst, better than that, best, better than best, <laughs> something like that. Not to shit on Ultra Pro deck boxes, but like you see these around everywhere. I have I have Skipbo and Uno cards in my living room that are kept in these. They're just everywhere. If I walk down the street, you know what I mean? I might find one. <laughs> that's, that's my point. There's nothing wrong with these. It's just jokes. It's just that they're around everywhere and that they're, they are the staple deck box that everybody has and that I have, you know, dozens of myself or whatever, <laughs> you know, just to be able to keep things in and then a uh, monster uh, deck boxes are you know kind of the same thing they've just been around for a really long time they are magnetically sealed so they're a little bit better um, you know and it's nice having you know the extra space to be able to fit two decks in there but um, it's still it's the same case uh, you just see these a lot more these are sold in every shop um, this right here is not sold in any shop because this is you know, homemade and, and this is handmade as well right here these uh, LDB dual deck boxes so I really like that. I didn't know that uh, they were handmade until I read that. But that's uh, everything that you need to know about Yu-Gi-Oh deck boxes. Uh, some of them have more storage. Um, you know, some of them are handmade and, and softer, you know, made out of leather. Some of them are, you know, uh, widely sold and uh, made out of plastic. Others are handmade. Others aren't deck boxes at all and are just, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh tins. But I hope that in real life tournaments happen more often so that uh, this information is more relevant because you don't really need a deck box when all of your decks are online, <laughs> right? Uh, so we'll, we'll hope for that. Uh, we'll hope for the return of uh, massive Yu-Gi-Oh events and we'll hope for the return of a, a more standardized, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh meta game and all that stuff. The shout outs to LDB Duel, Ultimate Guard. My, let's, let's shout outs to these guys because the, these, the, the, you have to pay for. Shout out to LDB Duel for sending me this stuff for free because <laughs> that was, uh, these are really awesome. I very uh, much look forward to uh, using these and uh, I very much look forward to uh, making more Yu-Gi-Oh content for you guys. I will show off their stuff once more. 
ldbduel.com. Features of the Mach 2 pre-orders are open. Uh, yeah, this is all old because I took a while to make the video. So, uh, yeah, shout out to those guys, these guys for being good sports about everything. Dick slap that like button and subscribe. Subscribe! <laughs>